Why does everything beautiful always seem to come from Sweden? Check this out, isn't it gorgeous? This is the Nimbus T11, the first of the adventure boat series from the Swedish brand. This thing is amazing and I'm super excited to bring this to you today. So excited, we didn't even wait until it goes in the water. I'm here with Cam and Max from Sports Marine, the guys who are lucky enough to represent this brand. My name's Dan Jones, this is Dan's Boat Life and we're gonna do a bit of a walkthrough. So um, I think we'll start at the bow and we'll, we'll, considering it's out of the water, we'll actually talk about some of the features before we jump on board. Come with me, Cam, and let's show everyone what we can see here. The adventure boat category is well known. Um, it's taken off, it's exploded, and there's a lot of good reasons why. And Nimbus have actually been one of the first adopters. They're, their history, um, it's quite extensive. They make, they're kind of like the Riviera of Sweden. They, they make really high quality family boats. Um, they got into the adventure boat space a few years ago now, and this is actually not my first time on the T11. I've not yet driven one, and I'm super excited when we have the opportunity. So subscribe for that, because that will come eventually. But we're talking about practicality. We're talking about, um, people who value their time, people who want to get out, have fun, but then go and do something, you know, go and enjoy something else with their time. And, and that's when an adventure boat might fit very well into your life. And if, you, if you're picking the Nimbus, it means you like quality. It means you want a boat that you can keep for a long time, that not, it's not gonna break on you. It's not gonna, it's not gonna deteriorate at the same speed as perhaps some other boats. Um, in terms of, what's going on, we've got a 22 degree dead rise. So come in and have a, a bit of a look at it. I wanna get slightly close for this. Essentially, this hull form, it's designed to cut through the waves, allow you to drive at speed through the wash without having to decelerate. So this section here is gonna slice through and this little flare here will de deflect some of that wash and keep the, the ride dry. But then as you come back, We've got air steps, and there's a practical reason to have this. Before I get there, just look at this. This is a wrapped hull. So she is white gel coat, but she's got a wrapped gray hull. I love this look. And we've got these beautiful, solid glass windows. But if you come down here and check out the air steps. So what this does, and you may have seen me talking about this on previous videos, so I apologize if I'm going over things that you've already heard, but this, sucks in the air as we're, as we're maintaining high speed. It creates bubbles underneath the boat and it allows the boat to run flat. And then when you create bubbles, you break the surface tension with the water and therefore you can run it flat, keep contact with the water, therefore a smoother ride, but accelerate with a lower horsepower. So it's an efficient way of driving a boat. It's a smooth way of driving a boat and it's basically the future. You're gonna see this more and more as time goes by. The other thing worth pointing out, they're going for practicality. You know, Sweden, the weather, you know, it's nice in summer, it ain't always nice. And they're a big boating country, they have a lot of islands, it's the whole lifestyle for them. Um, you wanna be rafting up, you wanna be pulling into docks, you wanna be bumping up against fixed wharfs. So not having to worry about your fenders all the time is a handy thing. Not having to worry about where you're gonna secure the boat. You're having a, a rail all the way around to hold on to and cleats sensibly dotted around the boat. It's, it's going to that practicality, um, unlike boats with really, really high gunnels, where you do have to plan every little approach to another boat or marina dock. I'm gonna jump on in a second, but before I do, we'll talk about the engine options. Oh, Mercury, thank you for building these V8s. I love these motors. So this is an awesome setup, but the max horsepower for this boat, you can actually have it with up to 900 horsepower. So if you are a speed demon, it's already fast with the twin 300s, but if you're a speed demon, yes, you can do triples. You can actually option it with twin 400s and you can also do inboards. So there's, there's you know, the whole variations for people. I can see some people wanting inboards on this if they want the open transom, but I reckon most people in our market are gonna go for the outboards. And whilst this is a fast, capable, exciting boat, this is in the luxury range. This is, this is in the 
very upper limit of the, the quality and the comfort that you experience on an adventure boat. So yes, it does all that fast, exciting stuff, but this is really gonna keep the mother-in-law happy. I, I guarantee that. Um, before I get up on board, we've got some underwater lights. We've got the zip wakes instead of the trim tabs. Look at this swim ladder, one, two, three, four step, really solid. And even these stainless um, uh, finishing for the rub rail, it, it, it's like top quality and this teak. So I'm gonna jump on board. We're gonna try and be smart and do this in one take. So Cam's gonna follow me up the ladder. I will grab that camera. Thank you. Cam and there we go. So, welcome aboard. This is possibly one of the most sensible day boat layouts that I have seen so far. We'll get to that in a second. I'll just start at the back of the boat and point out as much of the features as I can. So, Oversized stainless steel cleats, stainless steel rub rails all the way around, huge fender locker. You would put four to six fenders in here and it even has um, rope holders so you can secure your lines as well. They've thought of everything. You have one of them on both sides. We've got this awesome removable sunshade. So this is just a mesh sun sunshade, carbon poles and it clips on up there. As we enter the midsection of the boat, We've got the kid and the dog door, but it is overbuilt like you wouldn't believe. So the kid and the dog door, one on both sides. And then if you just sort of stay there, Cam, and try and get all this in shot, I really want you guys to appreciate what's going on here um, because this is the kick-ass lunch setup. We've got this really high quality, I think this is silver text material. It's obviously gonna be optionable in different colors, but you've got a textured finish and then a smoother finish here. Comfortable, big backrest and a massive teak table with the Nimbus logo, really high quality stainless everywhere. But this is not the only way you can have your lunch on this boat. So just follow me for a second. I gotta remember where all the uh, little latches are. Check this out, like, okay, option two. Yeah, thanks, uh, just gonna have some snacks. Yeah, wouldn't mind that, wonderful. Oh, wonderful, look, look at the hinges. This is overbuilt like you wouldn't believe. This is a beautiful lunch table, but, um, oh no, no, I need to get in, my, my belly's too big, I'm, I'm not gonna get around there. Yeah, no worries. How good's that? I just, they're, they're, they're thinking of everything. And not a single bit of space has been wasted on this boat. You can put a couple of beers in here because this little bit of stainless here is gonna hold your drinks from falling over. I, I, I think that is fantastic. We're not even finished. So you're going to watch your young tackers to go sailing for the day. Mum and dad want to bring their friends and um, you know all the sailing's happening on that side. You brought grandma and she's she's not so mobile as she, she used to be. No worries. Like, grandma, you just sit here. We'll, we'll take care of everything. Super high quality stainless everywhere. You just, you just watch the kids there, no worries. Like, that is some good design. Okay, I think you pull it from the middle, that's the way. So, I love that, that's awesome. Now, come in a little bit closer and see if you can get all this in shot, Cam, because it's just, I don't know where, where to start, there's so much to talk about. We have a solid, a very solid GRP T-top. There's down lights, I can see, dotted all around the boat, so you could absolutely illuminate this whole area in white light. I can also see spotted around the decks, there's deck lights. So we can clearly illuminate the deck at night time, not ruin your night vision if you're driving or just go for some of that mood situation. This thing looks strong. I can see huge stainless steel supports just forward of that. That is an issue on some T-top boats. The, the, uh, the T-tops can vibrate a little bit, so it's good to see them supported like that. But we've got grab handles everywhere we look. You've always got something to hold on to. So safety wise, it's awesome. We've got 
massive fusion. Like this looks like an eight inch speaker just here. One, two, three, four at the moment, and I've seen more. But right here, this is, this is where all the action takes place because we've got two burner cooktop. I don't know what brand that is, but it doesn't matter. And then we've got a stainless steel hot and cold sink. Now this runs off lithium and an inverter, so we're not running generators. This, some sort of fancy Corian or something, I'm not exactly sure, but it looks good. We've got a 240 outlet just there. These drawers are all on soft clothes. The, the, the quality of all these fittings is just top notch. This is a stainless steel, no plastic here. We've got holders in here. This is gonna be for storage or for some bits and pieces because your glasses and your plates, they do actually have a specific spot on these Nimbus boats. And I can see you've got the glass sides, it just makes it look good, all soft clothes. So every Nimbus boat, it's been like this since forever, as far as I know, because I, I do actually have some experience selling the traditional Nimbus boats on my brokerage. And I've got to say, a 10 year old Nimbus is some of the best quality boats that you will find. They stand up really well to the Aussie conditions. They're just built better in the first place. But inside here, we've got bowls. So there's an actual holder here for your bowls and your glasses and it all comes with Nimbus crockery, Nimbus glasses, Nimbus plates, Nimbus cushions. So you, you don't have to add anything for, uh, for your lunch setup on one of these boats. So we've got the drawers here. We have one here and another one just there for your glasses. And then two deep fridges just here and here. So everything centralized, do your cooking, do your prep, serve your lunch, everyone can enjoy themselves in the shade. Absolutely awesome, I love it. So, close that down there. Um, let's go to the bow and then we'll come back to the helm because there's more to talk about from a social aspect. Can you see all that? How good is this? I'm just gonna jump on for some size-wise, yes. Two people, absolutely no problems. This, this, uh, it's quite thick foam actually, so it's quite comfortable. This will fold up at half size, so you can actually store it downstairs, but you don't have to, because that's, you know, it's all about convenience with this adventure style boat. So you, there are covers that just go directly over this, and you can um, just leave it on deck if you want to. So perhaps if you're packing it up for winter, you could take the cushions off and stow them downstairs. Or if you're using it regularly through summer, just put the cover over. Up here, this actually wouldn't be a bad seat to run on a summer's day because they're a level riding boat. They're a smooth riding boat. The bows are not gonna get too much vertical up and down action like a traditional flared bow will. So at a moderate speed, as long as you're being sensible, you could run with people up here in the bow, no problems. I haven't even spoken about it yet. Beautiful teak decks. This is all real teak everywhere, all the way up to the bow. So as we get up here, and we'll cut to a shot of this, but we got a deep anchor locker here. That looks like 50 meters of gal chain, a Lumar windlass. I've got three more rope holders. I just love seeing all those little details. That's awesome. And I've got some space for some more bits and pieces, possibly a small fender. And you can operate it from these buttons up down just here. But why is the bow open like this? Well, in Sweden, they don't have too much tide and there's a lot of islands and people have holiday houses on islands and they have fixed docks. And it's very normal for them to do bow in to these fixed docks and go to their little weekend or summer house. And they step on and off the bow like this. Um, what would we use it for? picking up fish and chips, going to Watson's Bay where you do have a fixed ferry wharf and that's, that's a common setup around Sydney or other places around Australia. If you're just picking people up, uh, a quick transfer of you know, food and beer, just do it off the bow because from the driver's perspective, you can see everything, you can control it with your thruster and it's all safe because if you bump into the dock, you've got the rubber fender anyway. So that's, that's good to see. Um, now, before we head back to the helm, I'll just quickly open that. So this goes downstairs. Now, you stay there and I'll go back and we'll cut to a shot of this. Um, this allows some air to go down into the front cabin. So if you were 
uh, overnighting or just having a kip in the middle of the day, you're gonna have some uh, ventilation into the cabin and I can see two more hatches on the side. Before we get there, another big, it's clearly an eight inch fusion and this is top of the range. It's got the metal grate speakers so you can have party up the front, party in the middle, party down the back. Got mood lights as well. Come with me, four drink holders. So that's good to see, two windscreen wipers and it's a, it's a three piece windscreen. So it's three piece glass, but the join is only yay big. So there's no loss of visibility from the helm position, but let's get there and, and talk about that. So many details. Um, we'll have to cut to a shot of this, but the Nimbus logo is solid stainless steel. Filling up the fuel, we've got this grate just here, which is a, it's a thick, custom stainless steel grate which drains the water but it's, it's also the refueling area for the boat and the same one on the other side for water and even little things like uh, doesn't everyone hate press studs they're such a low quality most of them these days and you know you, you put your cover on with a press stud and the damn thing rusts and you can't get it off they don't use any press studs hardly anywhere on this boat there are clears that enclose this whole area but they've got a, a like a, a conveniently or sensibly designed stainless steel thing that just slides into a track so you're never going to have that issue of press studs failing on you it's just little annoyances which which nimbus have thought of and they've resolved so i can see a big subwoofer under the driver's seat and welcome to the helm station so three seats forward facing seats they are all adjustable i can see forward and aft adjustment and I've got flip up bolster action which is which is good silver text and I'll, I'll just sit in there oh wow that's comfy okay so I've got lower back support it, it's kind of cocoons me in the seat there if I was a bit bigger or fatter than this there's still some beam here uh, for your belly and it's clearly built for Swedish people they've got the short man step but tall people are going to have no issues here because if I stand up there's the roof, so you've got heaps of space just there. And I can see for guests, they've got a cleverly designed fold down step that when you unfold it, the uh, support for the step automatically deploys. So just whoever's doing their stainless work, I absolutely love it. But, but I also love this dash, so I don't know where to start. Um, we'll start with the wheel. This, this is impressive, like it's, it's all a matte, sort of a matte grey dark finish. So you got zero glare coming back in your face. The angles of the controls are all uh, sensibly designed. So you can glance down, see your controls. You don't have any glare uh, of the sun blocking them out as you do on some boats. And you're uh, reaching your throttle and your wheel and your zip wakes and your thruster. It's all to hand so that's excellent your visibility is fantastic I won't talk too much about that because we will do a test drive video but just quickly I've got a VHF radio in here my bow thruster here I've got my digital throttles here I've got a remote control for my bow thruster so if I'm heading up to the bow if I'm solo operating that might be useful my key start and my security operation is below there searchlight matching the color of the dash I love that that's a custom setup just there, zip weight control here, matte black boat systems all just here, and my two flat screen Simrad displays. It's not, not over. Drink holder, drink holder, drink holder, drink holder. Phone storage, charging, fusion, lights operation here, and another little locker with two shelves and an open shelf above. So everybody has got somewhere to put their things and the stainless work it's just it's just awesome i love this okay come with me let's go downstairs and have a little geezer so as i come down the companionway stairs they are offset stairs so that's just a, a thing you see in tiny houses and boat design um, which is a sensible use of the available space so you have one step alternate step alternate step so you just want to make sure you get the right step but come down this is all classic nimbus finish this is this is real mahogany i've seen this timber finish on other nimbuses before oh it smells smells like a boat it smells good um 
Yeah, it's high quality. Okay, where to start? Can you see me there? I'll just, I will lie down on this bed. I think this is the way you'd go. Oh yeah, okay. So I've got down light, down light, down light, down light, reading light, reading light, more down lights. I've got some plush finishing above me. That's the opening hatch that I opened up on deck and I got two more side openings so I can get cross flow and forward ventilation. I've got big blinds, so all these windows, they're, they're one way glass during the day, but uh, you know, at night time it could be a little bit awkward. So you, you can close these blinds for some privacy and I can see these other windows have blinds as well. I've got his and hers coat hanging hooks just here. I've got that's shoe storage underneath there. I've already had a squeeze under the bed. That's your bow thruster batteries and technical bits and pieces under there. But this long ledge uh, on either side is perfect for just unloading your pockets, putting things. We've got another storage ledge here and here. So you literally can come in, sit down, shoes off in here, wallets out, phones on there. So it's all, it's all very organized. We've got a dimmer switch here and here which I, was, I couldn't work out what that was for before, but there's actually mood lighting. So you can turn all these uh, down lights off and operate the dimmer and just set the temperature of the mood lighting. So that's, that's super cool. And this just here, there's large storage behind it. So I've actually put, if you have like a briefcase or a work bag or something, you could actually sit it on here, unload your laptops and your gear, because we're all obviously doing work from boat these days. And then you could put your briefcase behind here and it, that will sit out of the way and, and be uh, you know, sensibly secured. And then these soft clothes, same as what we saw upstairs, but it's the nice mahogany. Two drawers for him and her just there. And then we've got that oh, all the way in there. So that's a deep cupboard just there. And we have hanging storage just here. It's everything stainless steel and beautifully finished. I, oh, it smells good. And there's our control panel there. So that's your main switchboard just there. And I've even got more storage with little ledges underneath these seats. So they, they've not wasted a single spot on this boat. Um, there is more. So what we're going to have to do, I'm going to open this door. Cam, you go this way. I'll hop in the loo. And so this is the head and it's, it's beautiful. Um, we have a circular. So I'm in, the, I'm in the loo right now, but when you're operating it in shower mode, this seat, this, uh, seat goes down over the loo to keep it dry. I've got a wet area underneath standing on some, some teak and all my, um, you know, the place that you brush your teeth and all that, that's on the other side of this perspex. So you can just quite easily lock everything up. So whilst it's not a separate shower in the traditional sense, it is a separate shower. Um, I've got operation of the up down here for the hot and cold. Um, this is quite comfortable. And then you just do that for the loo. I'm not sure. If I've got anything behind there, no, that looks like a mirror. Down lights, oh, because all your storage is behind here. So this is where you put your shampoos and things. I've got a waterproof loo roll holder and electric buttons just here for the, for the toilet. And then storage for all your cleaning gear, toiletries, power, hot and cold sink, more storage there. And one, two, three hooks. So hand towel, beach towel, bath towel. Awesome. Um, okay, so come with me, stay there and I'll, it, it, you thought it was over, it keeps going. Cabin number two. My feet are not touching the back. I'll, now they are, now my feet are touching the back. I'm 5'7", so that's how much space you've got. You can roll around in bed. So yes, it looks like a little bit of a crawl space, but this is perfectly comfortable. You've got a ledge on this side, big opening hatch, because there is a massive, um, it's not a storage area, it's an equipment room. That's access to all your electronics, your inverter charges and all that sort of stuff. But if you're a guest and you're overnighting on this boat, you're not gonna feel hard done by in this cabin. Um, this is a reading light, that's a reading light. And then you've got a little seat here. I don't know if you guys can see. Check this out, all the Nimbus cushions. Like, and it, this stuff's everywhere. 
So this is a little seat you come into your cabin, take your shoes off. I'm not sure if we've got storage under there. No, you probably put your shoes there. And this little little locker here, small details. You won't get that. We'll have to cut to a shot of this. But the 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 timber as you put this in here, it's all lined with felt. So everything you're not going to get anything. Nothing's going to chip. Everything's going to last a long time because they've done it right in the first place. I can see these light dimmers. So there must be some moody lights somewhere we've got removable carpet got a little opening window with a blind for ventilation so that's that's awesome and a full mirror just there as well so there is more you're just going to have to come with me up on deck it doesn't end there come with me so one two three up those alternating stairs i'll put my sunnies back on because it's starting to warm up now spring started so can you guys look down and try and see me here? This operates like so, and it's access to system. So I've got my fuel tank under there. I'd say I've got batteries down there and I can see what looks like a, a charger just there, but that's also a storage area. You could put extra safety gear in there. Um, however, you don't need to put all your safety gear in there because They've thought of that already. We've got space for plenty of safety gear in here. So that can be loaded up with gear. I think if you were going out for the day, all your guests' bags and things can just go in that spare cabin. Um, but then I could hear you asking, oh, where are all my toys gonna go? Where are all my surfboards gonna go? Where's, I've got an electric uh, water scooter. Where's that gonna go? I'll show you. They've thought of that too coming back this way somehow <laughs> this is amazing i love it this this is your toy room this is another cabin i'll lie down this is how big it is you could put surfboards you could put foiling boards you could like Everything can go down here. This, it even comes with electric worm drives because if you did choose the inboard option, this is where the inboard motors would be. But I think as an outboard, it's fantastic. It's got proper checker plate flooring. It's all lined um, you know, professionally. So you can load this up with all your toys. If you've got massive boards, you could put roof racks on this thing, put them on top. If you've got inflatable boards, if you've got other toys, all that sort of um, water toy stuff can just go here without a problem and keep this beautiful deck clean, clear, and presenting as you'd want. I love it. Anyway, that was fun. Um, what's my wrap up on what I see so far? The Nimbus T11. I absolutely love this. Uh, and I think, who, who's gonna buy this sort of boat. I think someone who's possibly already had an adventure boat before, if you've had something a little bit smaller and you're really looking to upgrade your situation, someone who quality and fit and finish is at the top of their decision making and someone who values their time. If you're that person, I think you need to look at this Nimbus T11. My name's Dan Jones. This has been Dan's Boat Life. I'll see you on the next one. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we in steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still in at the gas station when the time was cold. In the kitchen, hostel, trying to flip it out the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody knows. Watch them take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Yes, we are going to take this for a drive, but before we do that, come with me. We're actually going to quite soon take something else for a drive. It's the little sister of this. So, T11. Twin engine, big boy, welcome. Come with me to the T9. Somewhat the entry level for the Nimbus Adventure range. There are smaller versions, but this is the one that's available in Sydney right now. And in a couple of weeks time, we're gonna be craning this thing out here and chucking it in the water and it'll take it for a burn. So just sort of let you know that. Stay tuned, subscribe and 
can't wait to see you on the water. See the bigger picture and it's way bigger than me. Can't be living like a kid, but my people need to eat. If I got it, then you got it, we gon' get back on our feet. And I put it on me. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Or die too young. 100 miles per hour might crash, cause good die young. Yeah, but here I come. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest.